Hi guys, it's Carolyn. I want to lead you through a few lower body stretches you can do that are perfect after a run. So right now I'm sitting in what I call plantar fascia stretch. I've tucked my toes on the mat and I'm just going to sit my hips back to my heels and sit up nice and tall. Now, if you don't do this a lot, you're pretty active, either running, cycling, or you walk around a lot in sandals, flats, high heels, or you're prone to plantar fasciitis. This is probably a stretch for you right now. So I want you to hang out in this position. If it is a really intense place for your body, you might want to take note of that and work it into your routine on a more regular basis so you don't end up with conditions like plantar fasciitis down the road. Good. So let's just take a few nice deep breaths. Inhale and exhale. Good. Big shoulder circles. Inhale and exhale. Nice. I want you to come out into tabletop position. So you're going to walk so that your hands are underneath your shoulders and your knees are under your hips. And all you're going to do for me is step your right foot so it's outside your hands. And then you'll slide your left leg back so that you're in more of a low lunge position. Take your right foot and walk it until it's about at 2 o'clock. Now so it's at a slight angle. And both of your hands will be inside your foot. Roll your shoulders out of your ears, stay here if it feels good to you, or you can lower one forearm or both. Now in yoga they have a funny name for this pose, it's called lizard pose, and it probably has like 15 million other names as well. Um, but it's a nice stretch for the groin, the inner thighs, the hamstrings, the hips. You might also feel the back hip flexor a little bit. You can make it more intense by taking the top foot and turning it out like the pages of a book, or taking the back toes and lifting the knee off the mat. So again, progress the stretch as much as you need to to really get a nice place for your body. If this is too much, come back on that bottom knee, put the foot down, take a few nice deep breaths, take your time with it. Good, slowly bring it back up. And then walk the front foot back in between the hands and you'll reach the arms to the front knee, coming in just to a low lunge. So now you're stretching through the front of the hip flexor of the back leg. And if it feels good to you, you can reach the arms up to the sky as well. Dropping the shoulders, pulling up through the belly. Good, this one feels nice. Nice deep breaths. Strong hip flexor stretch. Good. Now you're just going to narrow your stance a little bit. So you'll step the leg in more like what I would call proposal position. Reach your arms over your head and you can either bring your palms together or um, wrap and bind, this is kind of fun. And now all you're gonna do is tilt towards your bent knee. So I breathe in and as I exhale, I'm just gonna tilt side. And this is an amazing stretch for the psoas, deep into the hip flexor and deep into the belly. Oh my goodness, I'm in heaven. Deep breath, inhale and exhale. And again, deep breath, inhale and exhale. Bring yourself back up to center using your core. Take your hands to your hips and then you're just gonna switch legs for me. So left foot in front, you'll walk it out until it doesn't need to be pretty coming into the lizard pose that we did earlier. So left foot is going to walk out until it's about 11 o'clock on your mat. Both hands come inside the front foot. And again, you can stay here or lower one forearm or the other forearm. Beautiful. So pausing here or taking the front foot and rotating it out, kind of like the pages of a book. It's a little bit deeper here. And you can take the back knee and lift it up off the mat for an even more intense version of this stretch. If you've been running a lot, this is probably feeling pretty intense right now, so chill, breathe, think positive thoughts. Good, one more nice deep breath here. And I want you to slowly come up. You'll walk that front foot back in, in between both of the hands, and then take the hands to the front knee and lift up just slightly. 
Good, so now we're in a low lunge, and you can stay here with the hands on the front thigh or reach the arms up over the head, dropping the shoulders down. Good, easy breath. Inhale, and exhale. last time. Deep breath. Inhale and exhale. Take your hands on your front thigh and pull yourself out of it just by stepping the front leg back a little bit into proposal position. And again, this is more just about stacking the hips nice and straight and then you can reach the arms over your head, touch the palms, or do a little twist for me. So you might run a and find the Lift up and exhale, tilt over towards the bent knee. So here getting a little bit deeper into the psoas muscle, trying not to stress out too much if it's intense. Try to continue to take nice deep, long breaths. Getting into the hip flexor and the low lunge. Good, take it back up to center slowly. Take your hands to your hips and then just come to your knees again. So now I'm gonna have you sit. So grab a seat on your mat or your carpet, wherever you are. And you're going to take the right shin over the left shin. And you wanna kind of line the shins so that they're parallel of each other. And if you've been running a lot or you're pretty tight in your hips, your knees might be like way up here and that's okay. So wherever you are, just you're perfect, stay. You wanna make sure both butt, butt cheeks are down the mat. And then I want you to roll your shoulders out of your ears. You might get to this position and that's all you need to do. So pause here if this is perfectly intense for your body or keeping the butt bones connected to the mat, you're just going to walk yourself forward. In yogi terms, this double pigeon, yeah, and some probably beautiful Sanskrit name. But I love it, it's a great hip opener. You should really feel this in the glutes. You might not even need to go far, far forward going to add a little bit of a variation to this as well. So stay here if this is fine for you. Or keeping both butt cheeks connected to the floor, you'll take the right forearm on the ground or the same forearm as the knee that's on top and then reach the left arm over. Now here I'm using my right foot to press my left knee down to the floor and to keep my hips connected to the mat. I feel a nice stretch all the way up through the hip flexor, the glutes, and even all the way into the side of my body. So it's really nice. Deep breath, inhale and exhale. Good, come up for me. And then all I want you to do is switch legs. So we'll stack this time the left foot over the right and sit up nice and tall. Flex the feet, shoulders out of the ears. Again, you might notice a difference between one side versus the other, pay attention to that and then slowly walk yourself forward. So keeping the glutes connected to the floor is important. And trying not to round the spine, doing a stressed out stretch, but dropping the shoulders down and back. Good, easy breath, inhale and exhale. And again, inhale and exhale. You'll walk it back up slow. Take the left forearm on the floor, and then keeping both hips connected to the mat, you'll reach the right arm over your head. Now I know it takes a lot of time to stretch, but even a little bit counts. So even doing these little eight minute videos after your workouts or after the end of a long day will make a big difference in improving your flexibility and hopefully improving your longevity in the sports that you love. So take the time. I'm here, I have videos. Take the time, bring it up. We'll do one more. Yay, my favorite. So butterfly stretch. So feet together, they don't need to be close to your groin, they just need to be wherever they are. Shoulders out of the ears, lift the heart, and then as you can, fold forward. And you can use the forearms here to gently guide the knees outward on the mat. Good, deep breath, inhale. Exhale. One more time. Deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Slow.
slowly come back up and sit. Thank you again so much for joining me. I hope you continue with your flexibility training and I cannot wait to see you soon.